Hey Austin, what are we doing today? We are going to be camping in the car. Yeah, so we have decided because it's uh, spring break still, so Austin is still around. Yes. Um, that we are going to go and try to do some uh, Kia Soul EV car camping tonight because the Kia has a camping mode. So we're going to try it out and see how good it is. And where are we right now? We are in Squamish at the Electrify Canada charger. Yes, charging. we are charging at Electrify Canada in Squamish right now. We got seven minutes left to to 80 percent uh pretty pretty fast charge today right yeah yeah we had to do some shopping get some supplies for camping and so on but yeah yes we're almost ready to get going yeah so you guys can see we're at the chargers uh when we showed up all of them were full that one actually oh no it's back online wow okay that one wasn't working very well um but that's the one that we're using we've got a bolt ev next to us and then we have a bunch of random cars just showing up and charging for a few minutes and then uh off they go you know spring break very busy here on this road because it goes to whistler from vancouver so there's a lot of people stopping over there just down there is a tesla supercharger um so there's also a lot of teslas charging over there but yeah it's a pretty good location we have a review of this on the channel already next to London Drugs in Squamish. So if you guys want to watch, I'll put up the link up here and you guys can click and watch that review. So we just have finished our charging session. So we are at, well, 79, the car says 80%. Um, so the mission for today and tomorrow is this, that we're going to be camping in this car and we're going to see how much energy we will use during the night running you know air conditioning heat and all that because it's uh 13 degrees now i, I would say it's going to be a little bit colder um at night time so we just want to see how much energy we will use from the battery um, to stay in this car overnight later when we show up to the campground we will show you guys how it all looks and um, we'll make the car inside and all that stuff all right so um right now we're gonna go try to find some firewood because we want to make some marshmallows, marshmallows and, s'mores. and s'mores later. All right, we have arrived at our campsite for the night. So we've got a fire pit, we've got a picnic table and the cars here. Currently, I've got it plugged in uh, through this one here. So we've got a normal 15 amp outlet and then we have a 30 amp so always very good to stay at uh, campsites to be able to charge your car if you need to but overnight i want to do a real test to see how much energy we will use without charging but until then i want to just top up and and uh, make sure we have enough so i'm going to open the hatch and show you guys what the inside looks like you ready okay Ooh, hi Austin. How are you? I'm good. All right, so we've got this um, IKEA, topper. a mattress topper from IKEA, and we've got a bunch of pillows. Got a bunch of pillows. The mattress goes all the way. Yeah, mattress goes all the way. The so basically, if you guys are wondering, from side to side, it's about a meter because we have here some plastic, and then we have the sound system, speakers, woofer, and all that. So. Yeah, there's charging in the back there too, but it's about a meter wide and about um, 1.7, 1.8 meters, meters tall there. So that's pretty enough, right? That's Are you nice. feeling comfortable? Yeah, it's really nice. yeah, it's pretty cool. So this is what car camping looks like. So we have blankets, we have pillows, we have everything. And for two people in a small Kia, it's enough, right? All right, we'll see how we'll be at nighttime though. Right now we are pulling 1.4 kilowatt from this plug so it says we're at 74 percent so it'll take 15 hours and 40 minutes to go to 100 percent but obviously that's not the goal here right it's just to keep the car topped up while we use it so until we go to bed yeah so there you go it's just pretty good yeah but this place is really really nice really really nice it's uh just between vancouver and squamish and because it's spring break, you have quite a lot of people here camping. So everybody's in an RV and we're the only ones doing the EV camping today. But as you guys can see, it all works out pretty well. So if you have an EV and you want to go camping, go and do it. Thank you. 
We're getting ready for bed, eh? Yes. It's already 11 o'clock. So we will see how many percent of battery power we will use overnight. Right now we have one. 61. 61. What is your prediction? What are we going to have in the morning? Sixty-eight. How can be? We're not charging, we're using. Oh, are we not charging? No. Okay, so, hmm. Fifty-six. Fifty-six. No, fifty-five. Fifty-five. All right, we'll see if Austin's prediction will come true. I'm going to spin the camera around and just show you guys the front of the car. Uh, we're in camping mode, or as uh, uh, Kia calls it, like utility mode or something like that. So, um, everything is on. Um, HVAC is on, so I'll show you guys in the front what it looks like. You guys can see it's 11.05 right now. We are at 61%. HVAC is on, heat is on, and we are at 20 degrees lowest fan speed that we can. There's the dash, everything is on. So, we shall see what the morning will bring. We will wake up whenever we wake up. And then we will check in to see how much energy we've used overnight. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. We just woke up. How was your sleep, Austin? I was okay. How was yours? It was okay. Not bad. It's very quiet here. All right, so now let's have a look. Um, I'm going to turn off the light because it's right in my face. <laughs> I'm going to spin the camera around and have a look at the consumption overnight. The battery now is at 51%. We started at 61%. Um, 10 hours, because we started at 11. So 1% per hour um, that this took with the HVAC on and everything. So that's not bad with heat and all those other things. 1%. So right now we have still 201 kilometers uh, available so yeah 51 percent not bad right austin very good yeah very good very good all right now, now we're just gonna get up and get out of here we are packed up and uh ready to leave us is already in the car and uh everything is packed up nicely hey austin we're gonna go get some breakfast right yes at our local Canadian place, Tim Hortons. Yeah, so we have rolled up everything in the back. It took us how long to get it all sorted? 10 minutes? 15 minutes. 10 yeah, 10, 15 minutes. minutes. So not bad, yeah? Yes. All right, okay, so let's go and get some breakfast. Okay, if you guys are wondering how to get into camp mode yourself and do some camping, it's very easy. And I think most Kia cars, uh, most Kia EVs have this function. So what you have to do is you have to scroll the menu down to the settings here. And then, oh, by the way, the car has to be on and ready to drive to be able to do that and get this functionality. And then you go, you scroll down to convenience, you click on convenience, and then you see utility mode. You click that and then you say switch to utility mode and then you say yes. And then it says utility mode active and then you're all good. And basically now um, the car is on, everything is on, um, just you can't drive it. So even if kids are inside, it's safe. They won't be able to start the car and, and drive away. So yeah, that's how you get into camp mode. We just got back home from camping in our 2021 Kia Soul EV. And I have to say that overall, it was a pretty good experience. Um, that's something that every EV owner should do at least once in their life is camp inside their vehicle. Because that's something that you can do in an EV that in a nice car would be impossible. Imagine going and idling at a campground in an ice car. Um, first of all, I, I probably think it's illegal to do that. And second of all, you would annoy everybody else who is there. So uh, with an EV, you can just leave it on, use camp mode, just like I showed you. Um, a lot of other EVs have the same kind of mode and just uh, keep your HVAC on and sleep. So uh, one of the things that I really liked was that we were able to only use 1% of battery power per hour. And that's with um, temperatures dropping to around one degree. We had heating on, we had winter mode on. So, you know, this is maximum drain that I could see happening. Obviously, if it's much colder, then you would, um, you know, uh, experience a bit more uh, drain, but you know, 
that's still a pretty good indicator of what is possible. So based on that fact, you could actually stay inside this EV for over four days before it runs out of juice, which is um, going against what everybody else has been saying that uh, EVs run out of power very, very quickly. So I would say that in this case, uh, if you put two cars side by side, I would say an ICE car would uh, run out of petrol much faster than I would run out of my battery. So that's another benefit. All right. So I think that, you know, if you guys want to try something like this, you have an EV, go and do it. Go to Ikea, buy the cheapest mattress topper like we did. It's plenty enough. And then go out exploring and then try to to camp in your in your car, because that's one of the things that you can do that other people cannot. So overall, very positive experience. And I would definitely want to try something like this again in the future. So that's it for today please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already it really helps out the channel like the video if you liked it and i will see you on the next one take care and goodbye <laughs>